Good Monday morning. I hope that you are finding a smile as you begin this work week uh, here in the beautiful Tennessee Valley. We're going to do our best to get you feeling good as our show kicks off because these are certainly very stressful times that we find ourselves living in. A lot of us are maybe still working from home. If you're heading back into work, it might feel a little bit different. And now perhaps more than ever, we are finding a need to take some time to ourselves and just chill out as they would say. So we're happy to welcome Loretta Lynn to the show this morning. She is uh, an expert in all different types of essential health, but today we're focusing on yoga and you have a company called Be Yoga Full. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, thank you for having me. So if there is an upside to these last few months and there can be increasingly difficult to look for right now, let's face it, but we have had more time, I think, to ourselves to kind of turn inward uh, and discover what's meaningful for us. And for a lot of people, I think they're beginning to discover the benefits of yoga. Yes, that's true. With your uh, business, there are all different types of yoga. Um, you seem like you're a person who really likes kind of the pure yoga for the purpose of relaxation and inner strength. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, I prefer, uh, maybe because of my age and experience, there's been a lot that I've learned in life, and I was introduced to yoga probably more than about 20 years ago, and it has definitely become more mainstream due to the benefits that people are seeing both on and off the mat. Mm -hmm. and what I love about yoga is there's different types, so there's something for everybody, whether you come to the mat to get a power fitness in a power yoga uh, I like to do the vinyasa the more flowy where you're working with your breath as well as your movement because those postures are also helping us um, the poses are helping you with the posture and helping you breathe they're helping your digestive system they're really helping you in so many ways physically emotionally and socially so even though we've been kind of quarantined for several months and it's been stressful, I know, for a lot of folks who may have to work from home as well as take care of family, that if they can carve out, even if it's 10 or 20 minutes for themselves a day, they can really help keep the cohesiveness together for um, balancing their emotions as well as their body because we tend to hold a lot of trauma in our body. These are habits that are created over time. And yoga is something that can definitely help with releasing the stress and the tension, the anxiety, as well as help with depression. So in some ways, this virtual uh, way that you're doing the lessons could be beneficial to some people. I have found I, I'm a, I run uh, pretty much every day, but I am not nearly as flexible, Loretta, as I used to be. And it's kind of shocked me, I have found. It's very hard now for me to bend down and just touch the floor. So if I were to go into a class, I think I would feel a little bit um, self-conscious about that lack of limberness that I have. I can do it now with you online and privately get to feeling better. Right, definitely uh, doing it on A lot of people like to do it privately and I do coaching privately either in person or online because they do have that uh, intimidation factor and I know I have Whenever I go to a new studio, sometimes I might be a little intimidated. But that's something we learn to let go of. When you're in class, you're there for you. You're not there for your ego. You're not there to try to look at the perfect Virabhadrasana, the perfect warrior too, as you're standing there with maybe 20 other people around you because everybody is unique and everybody is different and today you may be more flexible than you were say yesterday because maybe yesterday you ran um, a half marathon or uh, I bike ride a lot so I use the yoga that I, I've learned and that I'm teaching uh, to help me strengthen myself while I'm bike riding. I do a lot of long distance riding and just the pranayama 
the breathing techniques that we can help you with can also help with that flexibility because you're learning to breathe properly and help release a lot of the tension that is uh, in the muscles and the ligaments. So you mentioned that every body is different and now you're talking about the breathing properly. For mm -hmm. many of your clients, one of the areas of interest that you really, really value is working with people who may have a little bit of a disability or something perhaps like recovering from a surgery, something like that where they can't move as freely as someone else, they can still get the benefits of the yoga. Oh, definitely. I'm working with a, a young lady right now who has um, suffered several concussions in a very uh, young period of her life because she's been active in sports. So I've been coaching with her mom to use, uh, we're using essential oils as well because that's part of a uh, process that you can certainly use because it goes into the limbic system in the brain which controls our emotions as well. We want to help motivate her, but with the yoga co um, complements it together, she can actually start doing some stretches and poses while she's sitting in bed before she even gets up because oftentimes her mother has shared with me in the mornings she's very groggy She's uh, slurred speech, mm -hmm. things of this nature. So I'm working with her, her mom, and the doctors to help her through this process. And that's what a lot of us have to do, no matter what your um, physical ability or limited mobility might be, whether it's um, age is a factor or a sports injury. Last year, I fell off my bike, and I was riding across railroad tracks, and it just so happens the way that I fell, I injured my back that I was not able to walk for several weeks. So with the help of yoga and chiropractic, a very gentle chiropractic, I was able to um, get myself back into finally walking and I didn't actually get back on my bike for two months before, um, before that. So how do, you, how do you deal with things then right now, Loretta? People I'm sure are gonna be also drawn in. You're, you're a very soft-spoken person. There's just a calmness about listening to you anyway. So do you recommend that people call you and then they just tell you their story and you help them find the right fit? Definitely. Um, Julie, one of the areas that I specialize in is, I, is in trauma. And um, I don't like to be one of those people that barks out. There are yoga teachers who will just, you know, who can sound like drilling. Jill Sargent, <laughs> I was in the military, so I know, and it is calming. I don't want to be too soft-spoken on one end, but then on the other, I don't want to have that very authoritative tone, like you have to do this or you have to get into this position or this pose sure. to know that they can trust me, that I'm here to help them, and I may help every day as one of my mentors does. Uh, there's a yoga studio down in Georgia that I work with, and uh, my mentor there, she has taught me to just, if you can increase it just 1% more. So when you're holding that pose, you're able to just maybe by breathing and relaxing out uh, the tension or where you're maybe, you may not realize you're holding tension in your jaw or in your forehead. So if you can relax that, maybe just smile, you know, you're not stressed about uh, what you're, you're too wrapped up in what you're doing. But Again, you're taking what you're learning from the breathing and the poses and taking that to help unravel different layers of habits that you may have created over time. And this is help people with when I'm either on the phone with them or doing a, a live Zoom conference until we can get back in the studio because a lot of times people, they shouldn't really be practicing uh, without some assist because we can watch YouTube videos, we can watch um, DVDs or other mm -hmm. means of learning yoga, but unless you are taught properly, there can be, you know, you can get injured. So you do want to make sure what you're doing isn't causing harm. So I'm interested too, you said that you enjoy working with trauma. Does the trauma need to be recent? Or if you had an experience 10 years ago, can the yoga still benefit you? Most definitely. I have learned, um, I've heard stories from clients of mine, friends and colleagues, as well as my own personal experience that yoga has changed my life. Um, I didn't realize the what we keep 
hidden in our, in our psyche, both in our mind as well as in our body. When we uh, maybe there's a song that comes on the radio, or maybe there's a sensation or a smell, or we drive by some place that has a bad for us, that uh, it could be reoccurring, such as like PTSD. And the yoga has helped with that because we are releasing the tensions that uh, it's like a groove. Um, like if you're a race car driver, there's a certain part of the track, there's a smooth part and there's the rough part or uh, the groove and, um, you know, on, on an album, you find the sweet spots. Like we tend to avoid things, like we avoid confrontations. We, we avoid um, certain uh, maybe people or places because they there's just something about them that has a residual effect that not only is in the memory, but is also in the body. So through yoga, we're learning to improve our patience, our presence. We're reducing stress and anxiety by holding the poses because we learn that we are the ones in control. With yoga, we're learn we are taught that we're in control of our body, we're in control of our mind and our breathing. And most of us are shallow breathers. We don't realize that when we start to get stressed or tense uh, or frustrated, we may be holding our breath or clenching. So with these different tools that we're taught in yoga, what you're learning off the mat takes place, I mean, what you're learning on the mat takes place off the mat as well. So you're refining your senses. You're teaching yourself new habits of how to better control both your body and your mind and your memories and recreating into a, a more healthy lifestyle. Well, I cannot thank you enough for taking some time with us this morning. And I'm going to give people the phone number where they can call and find out the best way to set up classes. Uh, and I guess since you're doing this uh, virtually, friends can do a Zoom class together if they want, that kind of thing. Yes, uh, friends and even um, kids. I've done a little bit of kids yoga and they enjoy that as well. So here's where you're going to go. The phone number to call Loretta is 605-4719. Online, it's beyogaful.com. Thank you, Loretta. Thank you, Julie. We're back after this.